But guys, so in today's video, I decided let's take a look at some of these plants. Um, since I just did some more pruning today, um, pretty much how they will look for the winter time. So it is nice out today. All the snow melted. There's little patches in this yard because these two cedars and stuff, but I'm really rarely seen any more of it. So all the snow's melted. We had a ton of snow though, and it's all melted. So that's that is a good thing. Um, but it left our plants kind of crazy. So I got in the winter pruning early, and let's get into it. Okay. First, we're gonna start here. That's the coop barking in there, playing with the other dogs. So we're gonna start with this. Now, I whacked it a little bit with the weed eater, or not the weed eater, I'm sorry, the rake. Let's try and get as many leaves off as I can before our next snow. The more leaves, the more snow it'll hold. So these ones were, I did bring these back up in a video. So they do look pretty nice now. Here's the second one. This is the, another one that was damaged too. And then there's the third, these are all spireas. They grew well. You can see where I pruned them down in the spring. One of them pruning points. Pretty low, just a little tiny bit right there. And they shot up great. So I'm going to keep up on the snow takeoff of those. Let's go over here. This is the. We have one, two, three, four, five, six junipers in the yard. Five of them are there. One of them's here. So this all furrows this whole middle section here. I'm up there, but it did thaw, so I just pruned it a little more today. I did do some more pruning today in this potentilla. It looks a little odd from the side. Up in the front, it looks great. So it's ready for winter. Um, you can see here it had lots of growth. I mean, it was touching the wall again. It put on like that much growth. So here's these dogwoods. Loving the winter interest of these plants. Um, the fountain, which sucks to be off, but at least it's kind of adds some interest by these two red twig dogwoods. So here's the bigger tw uh, red twig dog. I really love red twig dogwood. Sorry. Uh, it's got a lot of buds, as you can see, and it's preparing branches already more than this one did it's already preparing branches for next year so i'll have to come in next year and do some prune out cleaning on it but i'm gonna leave it alone this year i did do a fall prune down there here um is the other yellow German hotel. it put on a, this one put on the most growth um, it put on an immense amount of growth and it was the first one to bloom and last one to die this one here put on growth but not as much as either of the other two and it was the first or the last to um start and the first to die so that one was in the middle of the two. These two really performed. This one did the grow though. Um, here is our mugle pines. Here's the mugle pine one, bigger mugle pine, and you can't see underneath it. It's a touching ground type of shrub. These are both the same shrubs, same plants, mugle pines. Here's the other mugle pine, and it is not a touching ground version of it. So these two are just different, and I can't get that one to get off the ground because it'll just ruin structure. So here's our other juniper bushes, and we did. Uh, Cooper's got a. What is it? Oh, sorry about that. I'll head in the video there. Uh, here is this one. It's growing pretty immensely fast. I did just prune these over again today. You yeah, have a final winter prune. Here's another one. Another one. Just some, these are self-explanatory plants. These are all junipers. This one's the best one. My favorite one. Right there. Here's our dailies, all flat in the snow. But luckily, I did get a winter prune or a fall actual hedge prune done with these. So they're kind of down in the ground at least. Here is our sedums. I, today I just whacked them down to the ground because they were dead. I'm supposed to whack them down to the ground. I gotta clean that up. But here's our other seed. I'm just did the same with it. It didn't get much of a chance to grow because it's shaded. It's got the whole little step on it, but it's still living. And right in the middle there is our dying other type of juniper. I don't know what it is, but it's start. It's growing on little parts. I don't know if it'll survive through the winter. It was good until like March of the spring. And it just kind of started dying. It didn't rebound a little bit, but I'm not pruning it for that reason. Next, we'll take a look at these. And we got a lot of Christmas stuff up, but as you can see, I just pruned the back of that tree away from the sidewalk there. Same with this smaller evergreen spruce. So there's two spruces, they rooted themselves in, but they're pretty nice. That one's gonna have to be moved soon, it's getting big. This whole thing's gonna fall apart, but there's the two spruces, they got set buds for next year. It's gonna be a nice year next spring, because they got a lot of set buds. Let's see, I need to focus there. I can't, a lot of set buds on both these shrubs. They're trees. This one got winter burn last winter, so I did. They did lose a lot of needles. Here's a lot of them, shrub, or them cut sticks I removed. You can use these in, you know, jars or whatever you want to do to make it look nice. There's a little um, cedar growing in there from these cedar trees. So, and on that, here's the two cedar trees. Huge, I need to prune. Here was that one shrub, more like an invasive plant. I lopped it back and I buried one of them under this thing and they didn't come back. Well, they're sprouting again, but they're gonna die. Now over to these shrubs. These are the ones I pruned, and I just wanna make a quick update on them. Last bush update of the winter. 
You can see there's pretty much every leaf that was left on them is now dead, but they're nice and short and didn't get damaged from any of that snow due to my pruning video I did a little while back. Here's a dying white spruce plant. But I mean, it's still alive. Here's the other thyria I cut back, thyria, a healthy white spruce plant. Though it looks like it's getting a little different, but it's nice. And that last thyria plant. So yeah, this is the yard. <laughs> All the plants. And I think they're gonna be good for the winter, but uh, it'll be nice to see them back in the spring. My only concerns for this winter are gonna be these three over here. And obviously I come out and I whack all the snow off these if we get a big snow. I just have to set my due for routine because these ones had so much snow on them, it was up to here with snow. And they were leaning. The whole trunks were bending, so I just whacked the snow off. I don't whack them off into the other plants unless they have leaves on them. Then I'll clear them. But yeah.